Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create a skeleton loader in AngularJS. At first, let's create a component and then add a selector of this component inside after the component.html. And we also need our uh, some data so we can actually load it asynchronously. So I'm using JSON placeholder typey code. And uh, let me at first create a service using command npx ng generate service data. Hit enter and after your service is created, let's get started with a constructor at first. Let's create a constructor and inside this constructor, we need a child. Let's call it HTTP. Of course, it should be private and the type is HTTP client. And to make this effect, let's go to our app.module.ts and import HTTP client module uh, to our imports. Save the changes inside that module after the constructor, we need a base URL, which is where the data exists. So I need to copy this URL and paste it here. It should be our base URL. And after the base URL, we need a function to extract data from this spe specific URL. Let's call it get data. It should be uh, of observable type. Make sure it is auto. Make sure it is auto imported, and it should be of type any. And inside this get data, we are supposed to return this http.get this base URL. And we're done with this function. So let's go to our component. And at first, we need to implement on init. Make sure you import it inside Angular core. Okay, and then ng on init. Great. And let me also create a constructor. And inside this constructor, we need to add a couple of children. The first one is our data service, which is a child of our data service we just created. Okay. And we need to create a function list, uh, like extract data, inside which we need to call uh, the get data function inside data service like this. And then we need to subscribe the data that is returned from this function. And after we get a response, I want to assign it to a local variable inside my uh, component. So let me create a variable called my data is of type any. And then I want to assign my data, assign response to my data inside this function. Okay. And make sure you call extract data inside engine in it. And then let's create a simple UI inside our HTML file, container, order list, and inside it, we need an ally tag. Let me add a class of bootstrap to order list and also an ng4 so we can actually loop over the my data uh, objects. Let d of my data and inside each ally tag, we should render this d body, which is the comment body. Okay. Next step is to uh, install ngx skeleton loader. And after you installed it inside your terminal, add ngx skeleton loader module to your app module. And the last step is to add a tag of it right after the order list. And that would be all. As you can see, uh, we have skeleton loading. Thanks for watching.